just want to make sure you had a clean, a pure line salt cell, you'll see the yellow flashing light on the panel indicating the cell is dirty. If the pump is running, go ahead and turn off the pump. You also want to make sure the pump's not going to come on during this process. Then you want to unplug the white cord from the panel. You know, you want to loosen the unions on both sides. We're going to go and inspect the cell. Should be hand tight only. I'm just going to give it a quick light acid wash with some muriatic acid. I'm going to go ahead and use the Hayward GXL cell stand. This is a great tool to have handy for your Pureline salt cell. I'm going to take the GLX cell stand and just thread it in to the Pureline cell. And I'm just going to pour the acid in the top. And the GXL cell stand will keep the acid inside the cell itself. And the owner's manual suggests a 4 to 1 acid to water ratio. I have a gallon of acid here. There's a little less than half a quart on the bottom. This will be a 5 to 1 water to acid ratio. Easiest way to do this is to have an acid container. Leave a little bit of acid on the bottom. Then we're going to dunk it in the pool and fill it up with water. Of course, wear gloves when you're dealing with any kind of acid. And I'm going to carefully pour it inside the pure line salt cell. And you should see it bubbling if there's calcium buildup. That's a good indicator that there's some calcium buildup in the cell. You see the bubbles here. I'm going to let it soak for about 10 minutes. You can see that there's no more bubbling here. That means that the acid water mix has done its job. There should be no more calcium buildup on the plates. Go ahead and grab the cell. I'm going to dump the acid into a bucket. Then I'll pour the bucket back into the pool. Okay, now you want to take a hose and go ahead and rinse off the cell. Let me remove the GXL cell stand. I'll give it one more quick rinse. And now the salt cell plates are free of any debris and also any calcium. I'm going to put the cell back on. So make sure that the O-rings are still inside the unions here. It's a white O-ring. You want to make sure you have it lined up perfectly. Okay, they're on there tight. Let me plug the cell cell back in. Okay, I'll start the pump. Carefully check the salt cell for any leaks around the unions after reinstalling it. Then you want to hold down the system status button for three seconds on the control panel. This will reset the inspect cell light. And now the system should be working and producing chlorine for you. Inyopools.com has been helping pool owners find the right pool parts in 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have the parts delivered right to your door.